Let's take a look at two awesome options for your next pistol caliber carbine rifle. So guys, the first weapon we're going to look at today for your pistol caliber carbine is going to be this Ruger PC Charger. This is a outstanding option right here, all right? This little gun is just a freaking hammer. It is so hard to miss with this thing. Um, now, it is fairly heavy compared to the next option we're going to look at here in just a minute, but something about the weight of this gun just makes it such an awesome shooter. It's so steady. Um, and look how compact this thing is. That's, the, that's, that's another thing that I love about this weapon. As you can see, we have a, a folding brace on this weapon. Uh, this can actually shoot with the brace folded. I have it moved over to the side where it won't interfere with the charging handle. So we can actually shoot this weapon uh, with the brace folded, this thing will actually break down also. There's a little lever up here where we can actually rotate this little small rail and barrel. The whole rail and barrel comes off the front of the gun, so it's super packable, super compact, and uh, seems to be wonderfully reliable. This PC Charger is built off the same design, as far as I can tell, as the Ruger 1022. The Ruger 1022, in my opinion, is one of the most reliable rifles that's ever been built. As you guys know, you probably have one. It's chambered in a 22 long rifle. Uh, this seems to be the same action, the same basic design, and therefore it tells me, and it has proven itself to be a reliable weapon out here on the range. So uh, I'll load this thing up and shoot it a few times. Uh, sling attachment points on this. This is one thing that I don't like about this gun is uh, the only sling attachment point that we have built into the gun is this little QD mount for a single point sling right here. That's better than nothing. Uh, I would probably only run a single point sling on this gun, so that's in a good spot. Uh, but if you wanted to mount a dual point, you don't have a lot of room on the front of this gun. As you can see, you can attach a small rail up there, but there's just not a lot of room up on the front of this thing to, to run a dual point sling, um, to mount flashlights, whatever accessories may be. Uh, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this thing. Let's shoot it just a little bit. I'm going to show you how much of a, just a hammer this gun is. It's, it's so accurate. So we'll show you here first that it will shoot with the buttstock folded. So here we go. And you can shoot this however you want it, extending that front arm. It's not very comfortable without, the, without the, the, uh, the brace or whatever you guys freaking call it. You guys obey all the rules, uh, call these things all kinds of different crap. But if we fold that out, man, this thing is just a, and I, all right. One of the big downfalls of this thing, every time I shoulder this weapon, I'm reaching up to try to manipulate the safety right there where it is on an AR-15. It's one thing that I don't like about the PC charger. The safety's right here, just like it is on your 1022. But man, it's just, I mean, it's just there. I mean, it's just there. It just, it doesn't fail. It just, it doesn't move. It's so easy to control. Um, the, again, going back, the biggest hit on this thing, and it's just a training thing. The controls, the safety is down here on the trigger well or on the trigger guard. It's not where it would traditionally be with our AR-15. The charging handle's in a different spot. Obviously, it's back here. And then also the mag release is kind of in a weird spot right here. So learning how to manipulate the controls of this weapon is the biggest obstacle to overcome for me personally. But um, in terms of just being a shooter, it is an unbelievable gun. I absolutely love this thing. It's probably, it's probably the best shooting, the most fun to shoot gun that I have is this PC Charger. So we've got it outfitted with a little EOTech. And uh, let's look at our other option and talk about what's different. 
All right, so this is our other option that we would have for a pistol caliber carbine. This is made by Aero Precision. Uh, it's a kit that you can buy and put it all together. There are a couple different manufacturers uh, that make these, these same types of deals right here. It's essentially a AR-15 clone in nine millimeter. That's all it is. The biggest advantage of this rifle right here, or pistol, again, freaking YouTube, man. The biggest advantage of this thing is um, all the controls are in the same spot as your AR-15, all right? The reason I got this is so that when we come out here on the range, I can use this weapon in place of my AR-15 and still get almost 100% of the training benefits that I want to get because everything's in the same place, everything operates the same as my AR-15, and I'm not burning through expensive ammunition. 5.56 is much more expensive than 9 millimeter, right? So uh, as far as it being a shooter, it is not, in my opinion, as fun to shoot as the PC Charger from Ruger. Um, I don't know if it has to do with the, the action, just the, the recoil is so dead. It's just like, it just feels solid in the PC Charger, whereas this weapon feels like to me it has a little more recoil. Maybe it's because it is a little bit lighter. Um, and as far as reliability, I don't really know yet. I haven't ran enough rounds through this thing to see if it's gonna be as reliable as that PC Charger is and how it tolerates thousands of rounds without being cleaned. So let's shoot this thing. Again, everything's in the same spot. That's really, really nice. Shot that off. It seems to be super reliable so far, but um, hey, out of these two choices, I have funner shooting the PC charger. It's so small, so concealable. Uh, it's so much fun. But out of these two choices, I would go with this Aero Precision. Just because I can come out here on the range and get that training benefit, all the controls are in the exact same spot. Um, that's my final verdict as of now. Uh, the main thing that's gonna sell me on one of these two guns is uh, the reliability, and we haven't had them long enough and ran them through enough rounds to uh, really be able to give an accurate conclusion on the reliability. One thing on that though, while we're here, as you guys saw in the B-roll just a minute ago, with these pistol cal caliber carbines that take Glock magazines, that's another thing about both these weapons we just featured, both of them will accept Glock mags. There are a lot of aftermarket Glock magazines out there that you can use in either one of these guns. Um, and as you saw, these aftermarket magazines cause tons and tons of malfunctions, all right? So this is one right here that, that just is simply, I'm literally going to bust this thing here in a minute and throw it in the garbage. This is an Amend 2, Amend 2, made in the USA. Um, aftermarket Glock mag that will not function. It will not function. Let's actually see if we can get it to malfunction shooting it in this arrow because it would not function in the Ruger. I think I got a few rounds left in this thing. Yep, there it goes. So the magazine, we just lost two bullets, just fell out of this thing. There were two rounds in here. So uh, yeah, man, this is freaking trash, total trash. We'll bust that thing and throw it in the garbage. But just like in every other weapon, the magazine really matters. That's two awesome choices. The pistol, pistol caliber carbine has a, has a place um, out on the range, and as we talked about in other videos in home defense scenarios, get you one, man. They're a lot of fun to shoot.
they're a freaking blast. They're going to save you a lot of money over time and ammunition, and uh, you're going to get to get some awesome training in. Enough said.